Hello, I'm Richard Gisbert, and welcome to the first edition of Al Jazeera's Playlist, the show that's devoted to musical fusion, music from the global melting pot. We're out of Africa this week with a pair of musicians, Gambia's Julde Kamara and Britain's Justin Adams, whose sounds echo the days of the slave trade. And I go to Morocco to meet some bands that are mixing it up there. We have uh, weapons, uh, nice weapons, sweet weapons, electricity, rock spirits, big love for the audience, and big energy in our hands. And we'll show you around the Playlist website, where you can find more of the music that we feature, and where you can learn how to take part in an audition to get your music on the program. First up, we go to Morocco, on the northwest corner of Africa. The country's been a magnet for some famous rock musicians over the years. The Stones spent time there in the 60s. So did Jimi Hendrix, as well as Robert Plant and Jimmy Page of Led Zeppelin. Why Morocco? Because of where it is and who lives there. That part of Africa has seen a lot of human traffic over the years, and it's home to a mix of cultures, Arab, Berber, Muslim, and French, and you can hear all of them in the intoxicating blend of sounds that I found when the playlist went to Casablanca. One thing, as we get started, you might want to turn it up a little. Morocco is a musical melting pot. Its list of ingredients includes ganawa, rock, rye, rap, berber, and reggae. This is a country that is feasting on fusion. Here's an example of the Moroccan way from one of the country's foremost bands, Hoba Hoba Spirit. The song is, uh, it was based on a motorhead riff, guitar riff. So I just came from my home and playing it in my head and playing it. And a few people on the band didn't know the song, so they, they played it in a, on the opposite groove and it should be played. Rock, it became Moroccan. It became more like Alawi thing. Alawi is a music from east of Morocco, and so it became something else. Jamaica is more than 7,000 kilometers from here, but its most famous musical export, reggae, has found a home in Africa. One of Morocco's most popular reggae bands is called Darga. Bob Marley l'a chanté pour tout le monde. Et, et ça touche tout le monde, surtout les, les, les gens qui, qui, qui souffrent de pas mal de, de problèmes. Et le reggae, c'est un, un, un message sain. Et nous, euh, moi, j'aime beaucoup cette musique, tu vois, parce qu'elle a donné beaucoup au monde. Bob Marley, il a, il a fait des, des, des miracles avec ses chansons et tout ça. Nous aussi, on veut, on veut aller dans, 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 dans ce chemin. Quoi. In addition to the sound mix, Western genres married with Ganawa, Rai, and Berber, there's also a political component. Recently, Moroccan music has been infused with some challenging ideas. Well, it has something to do with the political process. You know, we've been living under a autocracy, not to say dictatorship, and during 40 years. So every kind of, of creativity was just shut down. Uh, start the artistic one, also the, the media, the journalists, writers. When you live under an autocracy, nothing moves. And suddenly King Hassan died someday in 1999. And there was a flourishing of every kind of, of cultural expression. Dans la société marocaine, au niveau musical, c'est juste une expression. Euh, une expression de, de, 
de ras-le-bol ou de revendication de tous ces jeunes euh, qui pendant des décennies n'ont pas pu s'exprimer et à travers cette musique aujourd'hui ils disent ce qu'ils ont envie de dire donc c'est c'est un peu les porte-parole d'une société jeune, euh, rebelle et surtout qui veut s'ouvrir sur le monde. C'est les problèmes que vivent les jeunes actuellement. C'est le chômage, c'est l'analphabétisme, c'est le fait qu'il n'y a pas de, de, de système d'assurance de, euh, santé. Les Marocains vivent à ça et véhiculent un message. Bien sûr, en dénonçant ce qui se fait actuellement au Maroc, mais en même temps donnant un, un, un grain d'espoir et une lumière d'espoir pour les générations à venir, pour qu'ils comprennent qu'on n'a pas croisé les bras et qu'on a essayé de se battre pour ce Maroc. We have uh, weapons, uh, nice weapons, sweet weapons in our hands uh, to have big impact on the audience. These weapons are called uh, electricity, rock spirits, uh, Moroccan groove, true stories about Moroccan streets. Uh, big love for the audience and big energy in our hands. The main characteristic of all these bands is to use Darija language, which is the Moroccan language. This language was officially disregarded and sometimes it's still officially disregarded by, by, the, by the officials, by the state, by, you know, eldest people who consider that the pure language that we should use is classical Arabic because it's the language of the Quran and, and so on. New bands don't give a anything, <laughs> don't give a damn of this. They just use their actual language, the language we speak every day, and it's, it, it talks to the audience. In King Hassan's day, there was just one radio station in Morocco, state-funded, featuring musicians like Mohamed Derhan, an old-style Ganawa singer. The new generation, artists like Ilam J, are tapping into Ganawa music, which is an ancient mixture of African, Berber, and Arabic religious songs. They're fusing the old sound of Morocco with the new. The message that was there in the song, that everybody felt that it was, that we can really mix between two kinds of music easily. We talk about now, we talk about something very deep, something very, uh, we're talking about the, the seven colors, something very, sometimes even strange and even scary. It's not as black as that. Gnawi could be, I mean, listened by a new generation, but the other way. And like so many musical blends from this country, this one works. Morocco, with its unique mix of cultures, languages, and musical genres, is the land of fusion. Je suis marocain, je suis arabe, je suis musulman, je suis africain, etc. Donc, il y a aussi euh, une envie de dire qui on est à travers la musique. D'accord. Donc moi, je suis déjà une fusion. Donc, je, je suis sensible à tous les styles musicaux aussi. C'est normal, mais la nourriture marocaine, c'est-à-dire la, la gastronomie marocaine, parce qu'il y a une gastronomie marocaine, euh, c'est de la fusion aussi. C'est-à-dire, il, il y a des tagines euh, avec je ne sais pas quoi, plein de trucs, rajoute, tu peux rajouter des... Ouais, on rajoute à chaque fois. Donc, c'est naturellement qu'on va vers le mélange. C'est-à-dire, le, le Marocain va naturellement vers le mélange. C'est culturel, c'est génétique, on va dire. And we were born with these, these sounds of all over the world in our head. And we know what we have here. We know who we have in France. We know where we are, and we make the big battle.
sounds of Morocco. If you'd like to see that again, just go to our website, aljazeera.net slash English. Then click on Programs and follow the link to Playlist. You can find out more about all the bands we feature on the show. Just click on our globe to find more bands and more music. After the break, Gambia meets Great Britain in the music of Jules de Camara and Justin Adams. Thank you.